this is Tom, W8JI. The ALS 500M amplifier has a couple problems in it. One is a safety-related issue when they added a remote control to it up at MFJ. They bring back in here and over on the PA. Oh, there it just caught. There it just shorted the ground <laughs> when I touched it. They brought these, these um, real small wires that go up front here to the control jacks. Um, they, brought those, uh, they brought those leads uh, out to use a remote meter, but they never put a fuse or a current limiting resistor or anything else. So you have the, the real high cur current fuse leads coming out on these little jacks, and you're going to run them through your car or your truck, and you're going to do it on a little, little uh, uh, Cat5 cable. And so you don't know what's going to happen if you get a short on that cable or at the other end at the remote head because, you know, it can melt that cable down. You don't know how it's going to melt or anything. So this has to have some kind of current limiting put in it uh, or fusing to protect it because that's a safety hazard. The other problem is, is they put these transistors in. Uh, as a substitute for the 2879s, and they have a lot more gain. So they do some funky stuff, like when you key the, when you key the amplifier, I'm going to flip this one on, and there's no drive. I got no drive power. It's got a radio connected to the input. It's got a dummy load connected to the output. And I'm going to turn the switch on, and it's going to cycle because I've got a, a generator on it that keys it off and on, off and on, so you can see this. So there you are. So it's it's keying. Look at the output. And there's zero drive. This is, um, now this meter reads twice scale. There it just tripped the overloads on the amplifier. So I'll reset it. Now it's, now it's back again. It tripped the overload again, the SWR protection. Because it's cycling the relay and it's putting out power. But this meter reads twice, the scale reads twice what it really is. So that's 250 watts of spike on the output. And if you look at the bias on the transistors, this might be hard to see. You probably can't see that because it's a scope and it's a video. But it has a huge spike there when it, when it keys. So I have a modification for this. This problem is different on different bands. If I put it on 160, it just immediately trips the overload when the amplifier keys. That's what this amplifier came in for here for, uh, for service, was it would trip the overload. Now, if I go all the way up to um, 40 meters, it doesn't trip it, and it doesn't have very much output. Now that, that's a, actually the amplifier oscillating right there. See, I'll shut the amplifier off. This is a peak reading meter, and it goes down to zero. Let's see. Well, maybe it's not. It's not oscillating very much on, on uh, 40. That is on uh, 15 meters. So this is on 15 meters. See, so the amplifier is randomly oscillating on 15. And uh, this is all fixed. I've got a little circuit board that you put in here, and it corrects this problem.